Sanford Meisner once said, Acting is behaving truthfully under imaginary circumstances. And for this individual, the world of acting has helped her truly shine. Daryl Hannah was born on December 3, 1960, in Chicago, Illinois. She received her autism diagnosis by some doctors at the time when Daryl was just a child, which is great considering girls are not diagnosed as often or as early as boys. The thing was, during the 1960s, very little was known about what autism really was. So with this in mind, the doctors recommended to her mother, Susan G. Metzger, that Daryl should be institutionalized. Naturally, Susan did not take kindly to that. She rejected the idea and decided to raise Daryl herself. In case you're noticing a pattern here, this was very common back then. Daryl's childhood was fraught with struggles. For starters, Susan and her first husband, Donald Christian Hanna, decided to get a divorce. Seeing a mother and father split up like this can't be easy for any child. But later on, Susan would be married to a wealthy businessman by the name of Gerald Wexler. On top of that, Daryl had a hard time with grade school in terms of doing classwork, feeling shy and isolated due to her condition, then going home and crying herself to sleep. So how did she do it? How did this shy little girl grow to be the actress Hannah is today? The answer lies within the world of cinematography. Daryl Hannah loved to stay up all night watching movies, partially due to her insomnia, but mostly because she became fascinated with being in an imaginary world, playing an imaginary character. In a sense, the films that Daryl watched throughout the night would become her first acting lessons and ultimately push her to pursue a career as an actress. It's important to note, Hannah did not choose this path for the sole purpose of becoming famous. Rather, she fell in love with movies and aspired to be in them. For Daryl, it was not about getting her face shown on the cover of People's magazine. It was about going to the Land of Oz and meeting the Tin Man. As a matter of fact, it still is to this day. After her time at Francis W. Parker School, Daryl Hannah moved from Chicago to Los Angeles, California to attend the University of Southern California and study the world of drama. She would not have to wait too long for her first chance in front of the camera. In 1978, Daryl would make her film debut in the thriller movie known as The Fury, where she played the role of a schoolgirl named Pam. Although her role in this movie was quickly forgotten, as with many first-timers, that did not stop Hannah from trying out for more roles, all the while being more careful about which one she chose. Four years later, Hannah donned a more serious role as Pris in the sci-fi movie Blade Runner. Not only was the film regarded as a cinematic masterpiece, it also got Daryl Hannah noticed by the public as well as other movie producers. Dare would appear on the big screen again in the 1984 movie Splash, alongside another big-time actor, Tom Hanks. This romantic comedy about Alan being reunited with a mermaid after 20 years did phenomenal at the box office. And Hannah earned the Saturn Award for Best Actress that year. The movie, alongside the Saturn Award, would help open the door to many more possibilities for the upcoming movie star. Daryl Hannah would go on to play Melanie in the 1993 movie Grumpy Old Men, a music video by Robbie Williams called Feel in 2002, and this isn't even half of the cinematic work she has done. Later on, she would appear in one of her most iconic roles as the assassin L. Driver, from Kill Bill Vol. 1 in 2003 and Kill Bill Vol. 2 in 2004. Also in 2004, Daryl received the Saturn Award for Best Supporting Actress. In addition to Influencer of the Year Award from the National Biodiesel Board and Ongoing Commitment Award for Environmental Media, Hannah still appeared in more movies and TV series in the years to follow. However, that was not all that she was working on. She began to work towards being an environmental activist whenever she didn't have to act out a scene in front of a camera. For a while, she even had her own website called DH Love Life, where she would post weekly blogs in learning about the environment and sustainable solutions to different problems. 
Within the past couple of decades, Daryl Hannah took part in various protests. Like June of 2006, when farmers were about to be evicted and their farmlands destroyed, and August of 2011, when Daryl and company were in front of the White House, protesting against a proposed Keystone oil pipeline. She did get arrested quite a few times during these protests, but it's not like she was there just for the sake of causing trouble. Hannah is doing the best she can to make the world a better place. Autism is many things to many people. For Daryl Hannah, while it is a special gift, it is also a struggle that she still deals with today from time to time. Despite the struggles though, she continues to be a great source of inspiration. For autistic people, activists, and many others around the world. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, consider subscribing to Toastamac and hitting the bell icon to stay up to date in our latest videos. Also, this is going to be the last episode of Inspiring Autism Stories. For now, we're not going to close the door completely. We just have some amazing content heading your way. I hope you enjoy it, and until the next video, see you later.